How can you eat rice and lose weight at the same time? You know about the myth of eating carbs will make you fat or eating rice in a diet doesn't work or you should not eat carbs or whatever. We've heard that a lot in the past years and we've heard coaches, doctors, everyone saying that you should avoid carbs, you should go on keto diet or whatever it is that makes you cut carbs just to lose weight. The fact that you're connecting diet and losing weight with cutting one certain macronutrient is actually wrong because you need all three macronutrients sufficiently provided in your diet. So back to the rice thing, I started researching this and I found a lot of stuff on the internet and one of them was this thing called resistant starch. Today we're going to talk about two types of starches, digested starch and resistant starch. What is resistant starch? It's a type of starch that behaves differently from the regular one. So it's actually resistant to the digestive system. When we eat starchy foods like pasta, rice, and bread, our bodies breaks down the starch into smaller molecules called glucose, which we use as a source of energy. However, resistant starch is unique because it resists being broken down by our digestive enzymes. Instead of it being broken down in our stomach and small intestine, like regular starch or digested starch do, it reaches the large intestine relatively intact. Once it arrives there, it will become a source of nourishment to our probiotics, which is the good bacteria in our large intestine. So the probiotics will actually ferment these resistant starch and turn it into short chain fatty acids as a byproduct, which has a lot of good healthy benefits for our bodies. Short chain fatty acids actually helps with regulating blood sugar levels or blood glucose levels, which is very beneficial for individuals with diabetes. What are the benefits of resistant starch for people who are on a diet or want to lose weight? If you cook rice right now and eat, let's say 400 calories of it, the next day, after cooling it down or putting it in the fridge or whatever, it will be much lower, let's say 300 or 250 calories only instead of 400. So that brings the question of how can I eat the exact same carbs for less calories? To answer this question, we need to know that there's four types of resistant starch. I'm going to make it simple. I'm not going to go really into the details of the differences between them. There are four categories. Resistant starch 1 or type 1 is naturally present in foods such as grains, seeds, legumes. These foods are actually protected by the plant cell wall, which makes it difficult for our digestive enzymes to break it down. So the second type of resistant starch is formed when starchy foods like potato, rice, bread, whatever, is heated, then cooled down. That is the secret of resistant starch. The cooling process causes the starch to undergo structural changes, which will make it resistant. The third type of starch is formed when starchy foods are cooked cooled down and reheated. The process of reheating does not reverse the resistant starch back to its normal state. It remains resistant even after heating it back. There's a lot of controversy around this idea. The fourth type of resistant starch, which we are not going to get deep into, is actually man-made. It's chemically modified to resist digestion. It can actually be found in processed food like cereal, bread, and snacks. So what we want to use is the second and the third type of resistant starch to actually lose weight. Let me interrupt with an idea that these researches and these videos take a lot of time. And a lot of people ask me, how can we support the channel in an early stage? You can do one thing, which is totally free. You can just subscribe to the channel and like these videos and go watch the other ones and share it with your friends. Nobody will actually eat cold rice. So if you make it in batches, you will cool it for a long period of time, like two, three days, you'll get a scoop or two, you will reheat it actually. And then it will be cooled down while you eat it. So we're forming the second and the third types of resistant starch without us noticing that. Okay, so we knew all about resistant starch right now, and but we n want to know how to lose weight with it. Losing weight is not about eating the exact same rice every single day and reheat it and recool it and reheat it. It's not, it's, it doesn't work like that. It's actually about having a balanced diet, enough fats, enough carbs, and enough proteins and actually high proteins. 
if we want to lose weight and build muscle because we don't want to lose muscle while we're losing weight which is another video that i'll link up here i don't know where creating balanced meals cutting down the snacks not cutting them off entirely just cutting them down and doing regular activities like going to the gym jogging swimming running whatever it is that you like to do for a long period of time and you want to stick to it that's what matters in a diet and that's what makes a diet effective not keto not carnivore not even calorie counting if you're not actually having balanced meals and balanced lifestyle it won't have a large effect on your body and it won't make you slimmer and it won't make you shredded just like that and if you're actually doing that right now playing sports eating right not depriving yourself from snacks and going out with your friends if you're having a balanced lifestyle and you're not losing weight there's one of these aspects that's wrong like you snack a lot or you don't move as much or you just don't know how to count calories right if you're counting them and you're not losing weight you're counting wrong just try to google the portions and amounts that you're eating and see how many calories they have because calorie counting apps can go wrong people are adding these and i found a lot of wrong measurements just make sure double check everything and you'll actually be all right if you want to know more about diet health nutrition fitness everything I'll be sharing on this channel so don't forget to subscribe and like this video comment down below what do you want to hear about next and I'll see you in the next one